Michigan State Police are investigating after a five week old girl was kidnapped, but then recovered. The girl's biological father, who has no parental rights, snuck into the child's mother's home in Richmond Township and kidnapped her. The man then drove away with the girl in the mother's car. Later, the child was located in a car seat on a sidewalk in Madison Heights. The man was located in Troy and arrested. The girl has been reunited with her mother. Police in Redford Township are searching for the person responsible for breaking into a home and attacking a resident. It happened overnight near Imperial and Grand River. Michigan State Police K-9 unit has been called in to try and track the intruder. So far, a description of the person responsible has not been released. We expect an update from police later this afternoon. All searches for the missing 79-year-old Lapeer County grandfather have been put on pause after a body has been found in the area. Dryden Township police say that a body was found on Wednesday in a lake less than a mile from Joe Mendeli's home. They say that the unknown person appeared to have been in the water for quite some time. Mendeli has been missing since July 19th when he never returned home after going out for a hike. They are awaiting a DNA test to confirm that person's identity of the body they found. Johnson & Johnson says that the FDA has extended the shelf life of its COVID-19 vaccine. The company says that the shelf life of the single shot vaccine has been extended from four and a half months to six months. Johnson & Johnson says the decision is based on data from ongoing studies, which shows the vaccine is stable for that period of time when refrigerated at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. The CDC says that more than 21 million doses of the vaccine have been delivered, but over 13.2 million have actually been administered.